Good morning children. Welcome to today's class. In today's class, I am going to take you through reading comprehension. Okay. So, in today's class, we are going to talk about picture comprehension. Okay. Now, first of all, let us know the meaning of comprehension. Okay. So, what do you all mean by comprehension? Does anybody know? Okay. I'll tell you. Okay. Comprehension means the ability to understand something. To understand something. Okay. Now, reading comprehension means there will be a passage or a story given to you and you people have to understand it. Read and understand. But in today's class, I am going to make you all know about how to understand a picture. How to study a picture. Let us all go today for today's class. Okay children, stay along with me. Wow, what a lovely picture, isn't it? Okay, I can see many children playing here, isn't it? Okay, let's first understand where is the picture. The picture is looking like some playground. It's looking somewhere around a playground. Now, let's list down what are the things over here. Now, first of all, let's see the colors present in the picture. What are the major colors over here? You can see blue. You can see green, you can see yellow, you can see brown, you can see red, okay, you can see white. So, most of the primary colors are used over here, isn't it? Now, what else can we note? Now, let's count how many children are there in this picture. One, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So, there are 11 children in the picture. Now, how many swing do you see in this picture? We see one swing. We see one puppy. We see a hopscotch board. Okay, we see skipping rope. We see a small pond. You can see boats in that. You can see ducks in that. You can see ducks around it. You see a ball. You see a kite. Few balloons. A sun. Trees. Okay. The first, whenever you see a picture, you will have to try to list out what are there in the picture. Like how we listed out all the items. Okay, children. Now that you all know this picture very well, what we are going to do is, in picture comprehension, we will be giving you certain set of questions. We will be giving you certain set of questions. Now, you people have to answer to those questions. Okay. Now, let's go to the next slide and see what are the questions we can answer to. Now, what are the questions you can see here? Do you see balloons in the picture? You will have to answer yes or no. Do you see balloons in the picture? Come on children, answer to this question. Yes or no? Good. Now, next one. Is there a sun in the picture? Is there a sun in the picture? Okay, next. How many kites are there in the picture? How many kites are there in the picture? Okay, next. How many paper boats are there in the picture? Or how many paper boats can you see in the picture? Next. Count the trees in the picture. Count the trees in the picture. 
How many boys are there in the picture? How many girls are there in the picture? Now that you know all this question, go a little forward, I mean go a little backward, okay, and pause the video and see the picture once again and see the picture once again. So now there is a question, first question. Do you see balloons in the picture? Yes, you can see balloons in the picture. So you will write the answer as yes. Is there a sun in the picture? Yes, you see a sun in the picture. So you will write yes. Then next question. How many kites are there in the picture? How many kites can you see children? Only one. So you will write one kite. Okay. Then how many paper boats can you see in the picture? How many paper boats can you see in the picture? Can you see in the pond two paper boats? So you will write two. Count the trees in the picture. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five and a big tree. So it is totally six trees in the picture. Right. Next. How many boys are there in the picture? Now let's count the boys. A boy playing with a football. Number one. A boy playing with a stick. Number two. A boy playing in the hopscotch. Three. A boy skipping the rope. Four. A boy rolling the skipping rope. Five. And a boy laying next to the pond. Six. So how many boys are there in the picture? Six boys. Now let's count the girls. How many girls are there in the picture is the next question. A girl flying the kite, number one. A girl jumping off the ground, number two. A girl swinging in the swing, three. A girl rolling the rope, four. And a girl playing with the paper boat, five. So how many girls are there in the picture? Five. Now children, picture composition means you will have to observe everything in detail in the picture. Everything in detail in the picture. This is called as picture comprehension. Now let's see the answer. So how did we discuss the answer? All the answers are here. Do you see balloons? Yes. Is there a sun? Yes. How many kites? One. How many paper boats? Two. Count the trees? Six. How many boys? Six. How many girls? Five. Understood children? This is called as a picture comprehension. Now let's move on to another picture. Hmm. This picture is also very colorful. In what picture do you see here children? Yes, it is your classroom picture. It is your classroom picture. Now let's see. First talk about the color seen here. What are the major colors seen here? We see green. We see white. Red. Yellow. Brown. A little blue. Right. These are the colors we see in the picture. And what else can we see? We can see a dinosaur. A dragon. I'm sorry, it's not a dinosaur. A dragon in the picture. There's a telescope next to the dragon. There's a car. Okay, a jeep. Okay, there's a blackboard. Okay, there's a car on the floor. There's another red dragon. There's a bunny picture. There's a ball. There are a few blocks here. There are a few chairs. There are stools. There is a table. On the wall you can see some raindrops. And you can see stars as well. You can see few pictures. Okay, on the wall as well as on the table. Then you can see the number pinned over there. You can see cloud images. There are few books also over here. Okay, there are cup, pen cups. Okay, there are two round tables. 
okay three racks all these you can find in the picture right so now what did i tell you in a picture comprehension first you will have to observe the picture study the picture and list the items in the picture and list the items in the picture okay children now after this let's see what are the questions given here okay what are the questions given here how many stars are there in the picture do you see a blackboard in the picture list the numbers shown in the picture how many balls do you see in the picture how many chairs are there in the picture okay now let's move on to the picture again once again now let's answer to the questions given there how many stars are there in the picture so the stars are there on the wall right let's count 1 2 3 yellow blue and pink 1 2 3 then coming to the corner wall yellow blue pink blue yellow so we counted that 3 after 3 4 5 6 7 8 so you see eight stars in the picture okay next do you see blackboard in the picture children can you tell me where can you tell me where yes there's a blackboard in the picture more than blackboard it seems like a green board isn't it yes next question list the numbers shown in the picture list the numbers shown in the picture can you see numbers What are the numbers? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So these are the numbers shown in the picture. The next question: How many balls do you see in the picture? Can anybody point out to the ball? Yes. Show me. Show me. Show me. Where is the ball? Yeah, next to the red dragon. Next to the red dragon, it's a basketball, brown basketball. So yes, how many balls do you see in the picture? One ball. How many balls? One ball. Then how many chairs are there in the picture? Let's count. Can you see a chair next to this round table? Yes. So one. Then coming on to the another round table, can you see one chair behind the round table? So two. Can this red and green and this red and yellow counted as a chair? No, they are stools. So we see only two chairs in the picture. So how many chairs are there in the picture? There are two chairs in the picture. Understood, children? This is how you people have to do a picture comprehension. This is how you will have to do a picture comprehension. Understood, children? Okay. Now next is you open your textbook. Okay, you open your textbook. In the poem, a book for the mother. Down you will see. picture comprehension reading comprehension okay over there a picture is been given and there are few questions follow to it now your work is to answer to all those questions answer to all those questions today's assignment is going to be that after this video in your google classroom i will be sharing the picture and the questions as well you all can do it okay children I hope you like my class. See you all in the next class. Bye bye.